we have a traditional German keg. It's gonna be a gravity keg. Right now I just have water in it and I'm putting some CO2 in it to emulate carbonated beer. So that's pressured up to about 12 PSI. So we'll, uh, we'll just take this off. Um, I'll show you some pieces, parts. We have of uh, the whole tapping and the, the gravity keg system. We have a plastic tap, which is more of your traditional actual pound in tap. We have this keg venter. This, this sits on top and uh, you screw it in and it vents your pressure to allow you to, to drain and pour. This is a new tap. Um, this tap doesn't require actually any pounding in. So that's kind of, uh, it pours really nice. It's a beautiful faucet, but you don't get to use the hammer and, and half of the fun of tapping a gravity keg is using the hammer. But I'll show you how to use this as well. So um, we'll start off by the pound in. So um, I like to set it in just like that. So it's kind of on its own. You want to make sure this, this valve is, or this handle is sideways. Straight is going to vent the keg or pour the minute it gets tapped. You want to try and do this with one, with one hit. Um, you'll see people who explode kegs when they're just kind of like tapping on it. You want to give it a good whack and seat it. Uh, if it's a bigger keg, you don't have to hold it. If it's a smaller keg, I like to hold it and give it a whack. So, like that. So one fail swoop, one hit. What you'll usually do is you'll have a bunch of glasses lined up here because it's going to foam a little bit at first and you basically need to uh, bleed off this excess pressure. So what I like to do is just turn the tap a little bit. You know, normally you'd have your beer glasses under here and you're gonna basically pour this till it gets to zero, to nothing coming out. Then we'll put in our keg venter and we'll go like that. So you'll see that the, the excess pressure, you know, you'd have all your glasses lined up here and you'll feel the flow, it'll start to slow down until basically you have little to no flow and that's when all the pressure gets out of it. And once all the pressure leaves, that's when you'll actually pull, pull in the keg venter or turn in the keg venter and it's kind of stepped like this on an incline so you can dial in the pressure to, to what kind of pour you want. So. Now that you basically have a, a, a closed system, basically you pull the vacuum on the keg in and there's no um, way for the, the liquid to pour. Now you put in your keg venter. You should probably hear a little psh. It was hard to hear, but the keg venter's in and it's turned just a little bit and your flow will start again. And now you can just leave that as it sits and uh, pour your glasses. And so that's one way to do it. So we'll pull this out, we'll pull this out. A lot of times this little rubber O-ring gets caught. So I like to take a little Allen wrench, reach in there and pop it out. So that's that way. So let's pressurize this keg back up. All right, so we're pressuring back up to about 12 PSI. So there's, there's head pressure in here now just like it would be if you were to tap the keg. And we'll use the, the new tap. Like I said, there's no pounding in this tap. It goes in super easy. Basically, you just set it in like this. Then you start screwing it in. <clears throat> and once you get tight like this, again, make sure the, the valve is sideways. And then you push this in. And that's how you tap the keg. And you'll do the same, the same thing here where you'll bleed off the pressure, you'll have your glasses lined up. And then once you, you know, bleed off this pressure and pull a vacuum, of course, obviously I'm going fast here. Um, once you pull that vacuum and it stops pouring, you'll do the same thing and put in your vent here. And once you put in your vent, then you'll uh, break that seal and you'll be able to start pouring again. So that is how you tap a traditional German gravity drain keg. It's super easy. I saw a lot of people online uh, completely 
bastardize it. So I just want to show everybody how easy and uh, cool it is. First annual Rave Oktoberfest. We're going to do a traditional tapping of the keg. This is a traditional German keg, and uh, we actually have to pound in the spigot. And once that happens, that's officially Oktoberfest. So, uh, this is a traditional Oktoberfest. It's brewed uh, by myself and about six other breweries in Minnesota and uh, Iowa. And so, we're going to officially tap it right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll count to three and we'll do the ziggy zaki ziggy zaki and then we'll maybe do that twice and on the second time he can pound in the keg and we can tap it. Alright, come over here. So I ain't spy dry. Ziggy zaki ziggy zaki oi 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 ziggy zaki ziggy zaki oi 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 Now we can do it again.